killing me. Hi, baby. Hi. So well behaved, and this is a racing greyhound. Sheraton Hotel at the uh, Florida American Kennel Association meeting, right? And they were discussing. Were these people several, from groups from all around Florida? These are what? representatives of each group from around Florida. They're a club, and they uh, they lobby. They do the same thing. The Greyhound people they go in and lobby against animal rights organizations, and they wanted to find out a little bit more information. So they're basically that. a different type of group there's some horse people in there right horse some, people, some AKC dog breeder AKC people AKC dog they have the same e issues they have that the same issues with the with the activist groups that you guys do in Greyhound racing right so let me begin by telling you amendment 13 isn't really about the dogs it's about gambling and big money casinos slot machines and card rooms <laughs> They think we starve the dogs. Does this dog look starved? They get a diet of meat, pasta, high quality kibble, fruits, electrolytes, vegetables, the whole works. And my dogs, before they race, get fruit. Bananas, applesauce, peaches, pineapple. T partnering up with other people that have working animals or in some type of an animal related business that's being attacked by these activists. Right. Uh, Grouping up, teaming up, and helping each other out, and fighting for the same cause right. instead of being scattered, little little tiny and groups. And they they even said that they said you know it's time for us to instead of being splintered, mm -hmm. start speaking in one voice and helping each other because you know the more numbers we have, the more politicians will listen. Right. Instead of just what, politicians being talked to by one group and another group and another group, we could go in as a force and just you know nail right. it. Right. I think. Um, they're turned out multiple times during the day. <coughs> Our channels are AC, central AC, anywhere from 76 to 78 degrees. Anybody that wants to see any of this, if you go to the Greyhound Chronicles, Jeff has filmed everything. He's followed me in the door in the morning, so nothing can be, oh, well, this was all set up. He's walked right behind me in the door in the morning. And he now has a license. He can come into the compound anytime he wants and film. We're not trying to lobby politicians just We're not trying to do anything. You, you, We're just trying to educate the public on right. why they shouldn't believe the propaganda that's being fed to them. Mm -hmm. and, and we all know why they do it. It's all about money. It's all about money. It's a scam. That's and this right. is what I've been, I mean, it didn't, I mean, I've been making these Greyhound videos for a while, and it didn't take long for me to put the puzzle, to start putting the puzzle together and figuring out what was happening here. They're making right. millions and millions of dollars every year off of lying and slandering not just greyhound racing but horse racing um you, I mean, you name it any type of a working animal they'll slander them well, alive if, if you sea look, world. If you look at basically we're under attack next it's going to be the show dogs you know i've talked to a lot of <coughs> politicians we did the, the hobnobs around the you know we've done three of them and i've talked to the politicians and they've all said the same thing that they've been approached Basically, they're coming after us, then they're going to go after horse racing. They're going to. If you read the, the ballot language, they've got a door, open door in there to where mm -hmm. it can affect show dogs. It can affect anything. If, mm -hmm. they, if they, it's already in there, if this goes right. through, they can attack them, go through the legislature, and get it banned mm -hmm. because it's in the language there. Right. Just whether you agree with dog racing or not, it, it, our rights are coming under fire. I mean, they're, they're not, they, they, because they don't agree with it, they want rid of it. And then they're preying on the people that, that can vote, that honestly still think the earth is flat. And they'll go in and vote on it because they're told to. You know, everybody that I've asked, that has asked a question of me, I tell them, look, 
My kennel is open to any person here. Anybody that you think has a question, they've never seen it, contact me. 236,632 urine samples tested between the fiscal year 2015 and 2016. There were 18 positives. And a lot of those are methocarbamol, which is a muscle relaxer. We give it to them after the dogs run. So there's a distinct chance that it just hadn't cleared the system yet. The average dog runs 78 minutes its entire racing career. They say we run them to death. Average house pet someone takes to the dog park is gonna run more than that in one trip to the dog track, uh, to the dog park. They're not run to death. If a dog doesn't want to run, we can't force it. Um, the Doris Day Foundation just gave them one and a half million dollars just last week. The Humane Society is big behind this with their millions donated. PETA, as well as Great 2K, these are all groups that do nothing directly for the animals. All this money could have helped so many animals, not just ours. The Humane Society, PETA, put down over 90% of the dogs they take in. We have a 98% adoption rate with the Greyhound community. So maybe they should be taking a page out of our book. This really has become almost like a legalized scam. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, That's what you're up against. Yeah. And, that, and I think now we just need to join as one mm -hmm. and squash it. And I think this is what you're witnessing today is the beginning of, of that. Um, they're starting venture. to realize they're starting, even the horse people in there, they're starting to realize and show people that, that they might, they will probably be next. And that's why they invited us here today. And that's why they're, they're pretty much endorsing what we're doing. Right. Um, There's already been some commentary from some of these activist people and the one politician that uh, I heard that gets guy where they mentioned that great yeah, they, they, they mentioned that the horse racing is yeah, next they, so. they, they've mentioned the same politicians that we're mm. up against they're up against so mm. they they know what's going on yeah and some of the same politicians that uh got the greyhound racing uh, amendment 13 put on the ballot right. are the same politicians that are right now working to get horse racing put on you know, if we don't take a stand now when are we going to because you know we need your help and it, it, we, we've got, all got to get together. You know, if, if the show people are in trouble, I'm telling you, the greyhound industry will be behind you. You know, if the trial people are in trouble, just give us a call. We'll be behind you. We, we've got to start helping each other. Yeah, I mentioned 13 is all. Our dogs spend the first 12 months of their life with their litter mates. Right, and gets, I mean, they're all going for SeaWorld next. So, yeah. do you like SeaWorld? Vote no on 13. Right. By the way, we don't, I, I personally, at this point, I don't believe the uh, Amendment 13 is even going to make it to the ballot. But I, I truly finally, I believe that. But any, anything's possible. But it doesn't. But it, next year in legislation, this, they're going to oh, yeah, come they, at you in a different, without, a different without way. Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, we can't, we can't sit down and be silent anymore and just no. fight it through legislation. It's, no, it's not business as usual. It's, things we need, have to change. We need to get, we need to get our voice out there mm -hmm. and so that way if it comes up again we don't have to go through this again because the people will already know that it's a scam and they're just not going to listen to it right and then they go to a pet group and when they go to the pet group to be adopted all of a sudden they're taken away from everything they've ever known and they're like oh this dog is so traumatized it is now because it's not doing what you know, you're putting it into a house when it's all by itself. But then three weeks later, they'll send you a message, oh, she's so cool, she's only, you know, so you know, they it's have, just like taking a two-year-old kid out of the way from her mother and put it somewhere else. Or taking one of us and sticking us on Mars. We don't speak the language, we don't know anybody, we're in a strange place. You know, all the cowboys, all the outside oh, yeah. competitions. They're on our side because that they've they gone after barrel people, racing people and are everything waking else. Up that we being attacked. Yeah, well, everybody. This word comes in inherently cruel. And you guys got to understand that that's in the ballot language. And if that's passed, they're going to come back with that, just that phrase and say, what you're doing is inherently cruel. Yeah. We want but that's racing. what you need to bring to AKC. You see that language yeah. and everything. So that way it could be to every single They're club. very tricky in what they did and how they worded it. And that was one of the main reasons why Judge Brevers struck it down. Yes. 
I think we're on a mission to educate the public. The more we educate the public, the more people, uh, the less people that'll donate to these uh, large activist groups and redirect uh, any money if they want to help animals to local shelters. In the end, that's what saves animals. Right here. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Yeah. It's basically PETA, the Humane Society, Great 2K, all these organizations. And they give are no money directly to the dogs. We won, you take care of the mess. And they're going to go back they're to They're going to leave thousands of greyhounds just hanging there. They did that in Massachusetts. They got, Great 2K got greyhound racing banned in Massachusetts. They took three dogs and stuck them in a kill shelter. And yeah. the greyhound people had to go we in had to and go rescue in and get the dogs. You got in contact, or somebody here got in contact with you. They invited you into their annual or biannual meeting right uh, because so you can speak to the people and that's what we were watching on video we were, we were watching right. we were giving them some facts and, and mm -hmm. they were curious they asked a lot of good questions wow and uh they're in the same boat as you they're in the same boat they just and i think different think, animals i think uh, greyhound nation really needs to wake up and, and start promoting the sport better than it has i think these type of type of groups are a good start mm -hmm. um we need to get the voice out because when we win this in 2020, they're going to come right back at mm -hmm. us. So I think you know if we so get this to, is building a network of people. We need to build to start yep. building a network so we can get when this comes up again. They already know the facts, so we don't have to go through this again. They already say, okay, well we know the issues. We're going to go against them, so mm -hmm. you know we get them on our side. Right.